Imagine a journey, a voyage through time, traveling back to the very birth of our home planet. We're going to take a quick, 10-minute tour of Earth's evolution, a condensed version of a story that's been billions of years in the making. For a detailed dive, scientific literature awaits your curiosity. Now prepare to dive back into the vastness of time to the very beginning. Our journey begins four and a half billion years ago. The Earth was a fiery ball of molten rock. Picture this, if you will, a swirling mass of dust and gas, the remnants of a stellar explosion. This is the solar nebula, the cosmic nursery from which our planet was born. As gravity pulls together this cosmic debris, a protoplanetary disk begins to form. At the heart of it all, a young sun begins to blaze, while around it, particles of dust and rock collide and coalesce into larger bodies, forming the building blocks of planets known as planetesimals. But the birth of a planet is not a peaceful process. There was a period we call the late heavy bombardment, a time of chaos and violence when these planetesimals were flung across the solar system, colliding with one another in fiery impacts. It's believed that during this tumultuous time, a Mars-sized body struck the young Earth, a cataclysmic event that resulted in a massive chunk of our planet being blasted into space. This debris, caught in Earth's gravitational pull, began to orbit around our planet, eventually coalescing and cooling to form none other than our companion in the sky, the Moon. The creation of the Moon was more than just a celestial spectacle, it played a crucial role in shaping the conditions necessary for life. It stabilized Earth's axial tilt, giving us predictable seasons and a more temperate climate. From this period of intense bombardment and Moon formation, Earth began to cool. Its surface hardened, oceans began to form from the water vapor in the atmosphere, and the stage was set for the next act of this cosmic drama. From these violent origins the stage was set for the development of life, and as we'll see next life took that cue and ran with it, transforming our world in ways we're still uncovering today. Fast forward to 3.8 billion years ago, the first evidence of life on Earth emerges. As we delve deeper into the annals of time, we stumble upon a significant milestone in the evolution of our planet. A time when the first single-celled organisms, the prokaryotes, came into existence. These humble beginnings marked the dawn of life on Earth. The prokaryotes were simple, yet resilient. Lacking a distinct nucleus, these cellular pioneers had the fortitude to thrive in the harshest of conditions. They were the first to harness the power of the sun, through a process we now know as photosynthesis, changing the planet's atmosphere and setting the stage for more complex life forms to evolve. But the significance of this development extends far beyond the advent of life. It marked the beginning of an intricate dance of evolution that continues to this day. Life had gained a foothold, and it was about to get even more complex. By 3.3 billion years ago, photosynthesizing bacteria began to fill the atmosphere with oxygen. This phenomenon, known as the Great Oxygenation Event, marked a significant shift in Earth's biosphere. It was a veritable revolution, sparking a cascade of evolutionary changes. This oxygen boom paved the way for a new kind of life. 2.4 billion years ago the first eukaryotic cells appeared. This marked a significant leap in the complexity of life on our planet. Unlike their prokaryotic predecessors these eukaryotic cells housed a nucleus, a kind of command center where genetic material was neatly packed away. This architectural upgrade was more than just a cosmetic touch, it allowed for a greater level of control over the cell's functions, a crucial step towards the rise of complex life. With this newfound sophistication, eukaryotic cells began to diversify into a myriad of forms, each adapting to fill a different niche in the primordial world. From these humble beginnings, the stage was set for the advent of multicellular life. These were the building blocks for multicellular life. 1.1 billion years ago, the first multicellular organisms began to appear. Now this may seem like a small step in the grand scheme of things, but it was actually a monumental leap in the evolution of life on Earth. Let's take a step back and think about this. For the majority of Earth's history, life was microscopic, tiny, single-celled organisms floating in the oceans, but then, something extraordinary happened. These single-celled organisms began to band together, forming the first multicellular life. Think of it as a kind of biological teamwork. By working together, these cells could perform more complex tasks than they could on their own. They could divide labor, with some cells focusing on gathering nutrients, others on reproduction, and still others on defense against predators. 
This division of labor allowed these early multicellular organisms to thrive in environments in ways that single-celled organisms couldn't. As these multicellular organisms evolved, they became more and more complex. They started to differentiate into different types of cells and tissues, forming the first simple animals. These were not animals as we know them today, of course. They were soft-bodied, simple creatures, but they were a major step forward in the evolution of life. These simple animals with their ability to move and react to their environment, had a huge advantage over their single-celled counterparts. They could explore new habitats, evade predators, and hunt for food. This gave them a competitive edge, and they began to diversify and spread throughout the oceans. But this was just the beginning. These simple animals were the precursors to all the complex life forms we see today. They laid the groundwork for the evolution of more complex organisms, and ultimately, the rise of animals as we know them. So, as we reflect on this period of Earth's history, let's not underestimate the significance of this development. The emergence of multicellular life was a turning point, a game changer. It set the stage for everything that was to come. The stage was set for the rise of complex animals. 250 million years ago, the first dinosaurs roamed the Earth. Imagine a world ruled by these titanic creatures, some as long as a school bus, others towering like a five-story building. Dinosaurs dominated the land, filling every conceivable ecological niche from the skyscraping herbivores to the razor-toothed predators. But even these formidable beasts couldn't escape the harsh realities of life on our ever-changing planet. As we approach the end of this era, a mass extinction event, the likes of which the world had never seen, was looming. A catastrophic event, possibly a massive asteroid impact or a series of volcanic eruptions, triggered a chain reaction, altering the climate and wiping out about three quarters of all life on Earth. The dinosaurs, despite their size and strength, couldn't adapt to these rapid changes. Their reign, which had lasted for over 160 million years, came to an abrupt end. However, this catastrophe paved the way for a new era of dominance by a different kind of creature. The reign of the dinosaurs was over, but mammals were about to take center stage. 66 million years ago, a catastrophic event wiped out the dinosaurs and many other species. A colossal asteroid struck Earth, causing a mass extinction event that forever altered life on our planet. The fallout was immense, but from the ashes, mammals began to diversify. In the aftermath of this disaster, mammals began to diversify. Six million years ago, the first hominids appeared. With this momentous event, the Earth's narrative took a fascinating turn. The planet, which had so far been dominated by various forms of life, was about to witness the dawn of a new era, the era of the hominids. The hominids, our ancestors, were a group of primates that showed the first signs of bipedalism. This ability to walk on two feet was a significant evolutionary leap, setting the stage for further advancements. Over millions of years these hominids evolved, diversified and spread across the globe eventually giving rise to the genus, Homo. Around 2 million years ago Homo habilis, the first of our genus, emerged. They were more similar to us than any species before using tools and living in social groups. But the journey of evolution didn't stop there. Homo erectus, another early human that used more complex tools soon followed. Then about 300,000 years ago, a new species called Homo sapiens appeared on the African landscape. These were anatomically modern humans, much like us. They had a larger brain size and were capable of symbolic thought, complex language and intricate social structures. These Homo sapiens began to migrate, reaching every corner of the globe. They encountered other hominid species along the way, such as the Neanderthals in Europe and the Denisovans in Asia. But Homo sapiens were the only ones to survive outlasting all other hominids. As Homo sapiens spread across the earth they began to form communities, cultivate crops, domesticate animals and build civilizations. They created art, developed languages and invented technologies. They began to understand and manipulate the world around them, shaping it to their needs. This journey of evolution from the first hominids to the rise of Homo sapiens and the development of human civilization is a testament to the incredible resilience and adaptability of life on earth. It's a story of change and survival, of diversity and complexity. From a fiery ball of molten rock to a bustling world of diverse life, this is the story of Earth's incredible evolution. And there we have it. A whirlwind tour of Earth's evolution in 10 minutes. From the formation of our planet 4.5 billion years ago, through the oxygen revolution and mass extinctions, to the rise of human civilization just a blink ago on the geological timescale.
This is but a simplified version of a complex and fascinating story that is still being written. Stay curious, keep exploring, and who knows what discoveries await us in the future.